Hello everyone, and welcome back. I just built Akamai, and, um, yep, that is certainly a big Lego man. Honestly, I'm not too impressed with this model overall, but I will say it's something. It is positively something. Given the components used, I'm not surprised that some of the build techniques are a little shoddy, but it's still not great. I don't have any idea what Wairua will be like, probably very similar, but I don't have Liwa on me in order to build him and find out. So, yeah, about this. Um... Yeah, this is a this is a certified bionicle thing. That's all I got. Well, I do have more, but in the interest of not um, offending anyone, we're gonna go right into detail about that. So, Akamai is both better and worse than its component sets. For one, it is a lot gappier, as you'll notice, um, especially in the chest cavity, and also in what I can only assume are to be called thighs, I think, as well as having very, very stubby arms featuring Tahu's classic fire sword, and of course, a club made of his allies' heads. That seems like a very impractical weapon for a number of reasons, but regardless, the articulation on this model is somewhat improved, but not by a whole lot. I mean, you have the head, which is on a ball joint, thank goodness, and then you've got not a whole lot else. There is one slight improvement in that the legs, they take a lot from Pohatu's gear function, and there's also a wee bit of friction, except there actually isn't because my sockets happen to be that poor. Whoops. Akamai also kinda technically features a knee, but this is like a technically in that the joint is there. However, that's still a one-up on his components. Akamai also features Pohatu's little shoe boots. Or something. I don't know. Man's just got a big iron on his feet. And aside from the fact that this little thing on the chest kind of looks like a Fiku spider, I don't really have a whole lot to say. I mean, he's just kind of... He's just kind of a thing. And, um... He's a big bionicle robot. I will say, though, Considering that the model is about 12 inches tall, this guy would stand pretty nicely next to my Dino Megazord. But... Eh? Eh? I don't know. I wouldn't say this model is worth building, but then again, just from the looks of things, most combiner models aren't worth building anyway. And I say that with full confidence. I mean, this and the precedent it sets for Wairua considering Takuta Nuva as well, and then you've got all of the various other combiner models from the Matanui era and also from the rest of Bionicle, and this is just... This is lame. I mean, sure, it's fun explicitly for the novelty of, look, it's a big Lego man. But once you've gotten past that, there's not a whole lot you can do before this thing just starts to get boring. I guess. So yeah, that's about all I have to say. Um, will I ever review another combiner model? Yes. Do I have high hopes for any of them? Absolutely not. With that said, I would like to thank you for watching this video. Bye now.